so tell me about Steel Gear. And um, I know you're playing a party yeah. release classic and Soulful House Party here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Shout out to Release Party. Yeah, shout out to Release. You know, I started off in the Soulful world. We were called the Soul Providers. And I started off, and then I, over the years I changed. I went to like tougher stuff and the. This shit called electro or whatever, you know, just change my style. I always change, but uh, like two years ago, I, I was getting ready to go on a tour and I got real, I was feeling sick. I was feeling sick and I was just, it was a strange feeling. I went to the hospital, to the emergency room. They told me that uh, I was having heart problems. I asked did I have a heart attack? I said, nah, but I've had a stroke before, a small stroke, I had two strokes actually. And then I found I was a kidney failure and all these other problems. My organs were breaking down and everything like that. So I was in hospice, you know, and it was really sad. So I, depression and it's sad, like, damn, I'm going to die. And only, you know, I'm only 23 years old. And so I, <laughs> no, I'm not 23. But, you know, at such a young age, I said, damn, like, I have such an exciting life. I mean, I was prepared to die, though, because I said, well, this is what it is. I was blessed to have such a great life. I finally got to do what I wanted for a living. Travel the world for like 15, 16 years nonstop. You know, I made a ton of money. Got all the cars I ever wanted. Got a, just a great life. But I guess it comes to an end and, and I thought I was going to be out of here. Cause they told me I had a year, nine months to a year. You know, you, you know, I only let a handful of people come see me. Marcus, Gary, uh, a lot of people come see me, Josh. Chris, they, they come see me once in a while. These people, you know, that, you know, they had my interest. I mean, these some safe people, that does not just being nosy. And then I said, I don't want to die here in the hospital. I don't want to die in the hospital. Take me home. Came home. And I said, you know what? I want to go to Baltimore. One more time, see some friends. Came to Baltimore, hung out with Mike. I know with Carlos, my, my oldest friend, we've been friends since three years old, Carlos Muhammad. I went to the Paradox. And it sounds real corny, but I went to the Paradox. I heard some good music. And I, I started feeling better. You know, it was, it was kind of emotional, man. It was, it was a bad time. But then um, I just started feeling better. I just slowly started feeling better. Gary and Marcus came to me and said, yo, let's do one big party. So I came to release. I did a big party. I chose to do it on a soulful tip. And I wanted to do it at a club, not a big festival, anything like that. So I did it. I had so much fun. It was difficult. But I, <laughs> I had my oxygen. I couldn't breathe on my own at the time. It was a little creepy. But um, I did it. I got to play some songs I wanted to hear. The songs that meant a lot to me. But then I slowly started feeling better through a series of surgeries and everything. And um, I started feeling better. So now, October was when I was supposed to expire. October the 7th or something like that. That was like my date of expiration. And um, I'm still here. So I want to celebrate it, man. I want to celebrate with you guys, man. I want to really, I want the whole Charlotte to come out and, and celebrate this with me. Because, um, I mean, I'm still in kidney failure. I still have a bad heart. I'm still in bad shape. Um, but I'm here, and while I'm here, I might as well just do what I can do, the best, the most I can do, and I'm gonna continue to do it. Like, I'll probably DJ until my last breath. I love making records, I like writing songs, I like things, but I love the DJ. Sometimes my blends might be shaking, my selection might be a little weird, but it doesn't matter. I love the DJ, I love seeing people dance, and I want everybody to come out to a release. What's the date? October 1st. October the first, please. If y'all y'all can just come by for an hour, half hour, come hang out. It's gonna be an awesome night. Who else we got performing that night? We got uh the King of House. Farley. Jackmaster Funk, right? Farley. Farley. Yeah, yeah. I, it, I'm so excited about that. I mean, this is something I looked up to at, at, when I first got in the house music. That you know, and then the regular crew, Madala, Marcus, Gary, 
everybody else. You got, you got Speedy and Speedy. Utopia Jackson coming from Baltimore. Yeah, I don't even know them. I'm from Baltimore, so I'm going to meet some new people from my hometown. You always got Stacy at the door greeting everybody. You know, she knows the whole city. <laughs> this is going to be an exciting night, man. I'm really, really, really excited. If you don't know me, come introduce yourself to me. Come, you know, and just introduce yourself. If you uh, got any car keys, you want to give me a car. If you want to give me a deed to your house or any kind of, you know, bricks of gold or savings bonds, I'll take those as well. But if not, this is a handshake and a smile. It's good. Just come through and hang out, man. Please come out and hang out. It's going to be a special, special night. Anything else? This is DJ Marcus, Jason Brooks. We're here at Great Lunchbox Records. Make sure you get down here. Um, the vinyl, everything you need. I think it's maybe the only vinyl place here in Charlotte. So come down Lunchbox Records. Big shout out to them. We'll see you October 1st, Moorhead Tavern. It's 300 East Moorhead Street here in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina. Release Classics to a House Party featuring the King of House, Farley Jack, Master Funk, and our friend, main man, Jason Brooks. Stay up here, set.